This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, during the holidays, a big box store had a 20% off sale on every product in the store. If a stereo originally cost $150, how much did the stereo cost during the sale? So just so it's very clear, I'm going to solve this one uh, using two different methods. Uh, that said, the setup for both of these methods is the same. That is to say, for both of them, we're going to determine the sales price by taking the original price, and from that, we're going to subtract the original price times the discount amount. And again, as I just mentioned, we're going to do this setup for both of these uh, methods here. That said, uh, the first thing we have to do is figure out what our discount amount is. It says right here that it's 20%. So in order to solve this one, you're either going to have to express 20% as a fraction, which is one-fifth, or as a decimal, which is 0.2. So let's start with this first method. What was the original price of the stereo? It's $150. So this is 150 minus 150 times. Now for this first method, I'm going to use the fraction equivalent of 20%, that is one-fifth. So to solve this one, all we have to do is take 150 and multiply it by one-fifth. And I'm going to do that off to the side here. We have 150 times 1 fifth. All right, so I'm going to rewrite 150 to be a fraction by placing it over 1. Before I multiply these two fractions, I can cross reduce. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 15 three times. Therefore, it goes into 150 30 times. This is 30 over 1, which is just 30. 1 over 1 is just 1. 30 times 1 is 30. So this becomes 150 minus 30, which is 120. All right, so our answer is 120. Let's look at the second method. So again, our original price is 150 minus 150. And the discount amount in this case, we're going to use the decimal equivalent, notably 0.2. So now we have to do 150 times 0.2. We got to move this decimal one place to the right to make this 150 times 2, albeit with one decimal to move back in to the left when we're done. Uh, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, so bring down a 0, carry a 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, bring our 1 decimal over. So this is 150 minus 30, which is 120. So regardless of which method you used, you get the same answer. As it happens, some people like working with fractions, and some people like working with decimals. It really doesn't matter in this case. It takes you about the same amount of time to solve it either way.